praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. In His great mercy, He has given us new birth into a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead and into an inheritance that can never perish, spoil, or fade, kept in heaven for you. Bless the Lord for the living hope we have because of the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. My name is Debbie Sebesky. Greetings from Spartanburg, South Carolina. I am so looking forward to having the opportunity to be with you in Edna, Texas, beginning the 9th of November to share in Judgment House. This year, I believe y'all are doing Hannah's Hope, and um, that may be different than other dramas you've done because this is a true story, and I know it's true because Hannah was my daughter. In the spring of 2006, as Hannah finished her junior year of high school, we found ourselves in a very hard place when we found out that Hannah had sarcoma cancer, a very rare, aggressive kind of cancer. And the storyline of Judgment House is the six-month journey that we faced before the Lord took her to heaven, actually the 9th of November, 2006. Hannah knew living hope in Jesus Christ. And that's the only reason that I can be here today and it's the only reason that I could be with you in Edna, Texas in November because of the living hope that we have. My brother had it on his heart to write a drama after Hannah went to heaven and so Uncle Clay wrote the drama that you will soon have in your hands. Uh, one of the scriptures God is just writing on my heart about the drama for this fall in Judgment House is in 2 Corinthians chapter 5. And we're very familiar with the scripture. It says, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creation. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things have become new. And then it goes on to say that we are God's ambassadors. As though Christ were making his appeal through us. And then it says, we implore you on Christ's behalf, be reconciled to God. And truly the message of Judgment House is that many would come to a saving knowledge of Christ and be reconciled to God. I look forward to being with you in, um, in November and many blessings as you prepare. Um, Hannah knew the Lord. He was her hope. And um, wow.